Hello, my name is Rafiq Jawani, a developer from the Jazz Reporting team. In this video, I will create a report that displays data about item links. For the purpose of this demo, I will create a report that given the ID of uh, a work item, it will output a table that displays all the related work items. Let's create the report parameter. The report will take as input the work item ID, which is an integer. Items could be the source or the target of a link. So our work item, when participating in a link, could be either the source or the target. Now to find the other ends, we need two data sets, the sources data set and the targets data set. The links data set comes from the common snapshot. So let's create the data source. Let's call it common. Let's create the sources data set. So the sources data set will use the links table. As input, this data set will take the target item ID and the link type, and it will give us all the sources. Let's create the targets data set. Same table, the links table. So as input, the targets data set will take the link type and the source item ID, and it will give us all the targets. Notice that the inputs to both data sets are a UID. So we need to convert the integer-based work item ID to a UID. For that, let's use the work item data source. Let's create a data set of that data source. As input, this data set, uh, let's use the live uh, work item table for this. So as input, this data set will take the work item ID and it will give us the work item item ID, which is a UID. So let's find the uh, work item integer based ID to the uh, work item ID report parameter. And let's store the uh, work item UID in a variable. So when we fetch the first row of this table, let's assign that value. Let's call this um, work item ID is equal to row index work item ID now let's pass this uh, JavaScript variable to both the sources and the targets data sets so for the sources data set the target item ID should be that And for the targets data set, the same. Now let's store all the uh, 
item IDs of the targets and the sources in a JavaScript array. So we click the root of our uh, report, root of script, and let's call the array work item IDs. Now, whenever we fetch a source or a target, we will add that to this uh, array. So on fetch, so this is for the sources data set. So whenever we fetch a row from the sources data set, we will add the item ID of that source. And we will do the same for the target. On fetch. So here we'll add the target item ID. So at this stage, the uh, work item IDs array will have the IDs of all the related work items. So now we need to convert all those uh, UIDs to human readable IDs and maybe show the summary of each uh, related work item. To do that, let's create uh, another data set. Let's call it work items. Let's use the live work item table. So as input, this data set will take a collection of work item item IDs and it will give us the human readable work item IDs and their summary. So let's bind the uh, input to this data set to our array of uh, work item IDs. We need to convert the array to um, a comma-based string. To cause all these data sets to be fetched, we need to bind them to some dynamic text object that we drop on the uh, area of the report. Calling total.count will cause the data set to be fetched. Let's bind the first one to um, work item ID. Let's copy and paste. Let's bind the second one to the sources data set. The second one to the targets data set. And let's drop the uh, work items table here so we can see the results. Let's preview the report. So for work item number 10, these are all the related work items. Uh, we need to hide the uh, dynamic text so we don't see this uh, these numbers. So let's select these. Go to Properties, Visibility, and Hide. Let's preview again. Great, I think we are done. Thank you for your attention.